Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. My name is Pitoni. I'm your friendly Catholic vlogger, and I normally upload on Thursdays, which means today I get to make a Thanksgiving video. Huh. So I learned this year that Lincoln turned Thanksgiving uh, into an actual national annual holiday. Before Lincoln, that wasn't the case. And that piqued my interest, especially because in the past, um, Thanksgiving hasn't really been my favorite holiday. I mean, I, I like food, um, but other than that, there's, this just doesn't, it doesn't do much for me. For me, Thanksgiving tradition oftentimes boiled down to uh, standing around the table before this great feast of food, which is great. I like food and all the rest. Uh, and then we have this awkward moment where we go around and everybody says what they're thankful for. And I'm like, this is cheesy as all get out. Why do we do this? Learning about Lincoln and Thanksgiving actually changed my perspective on that, though. I didn't expect that. Lincoln made Thanksgiving into a national annual holiday. Uh, in 1863 and 1864, depending on how we define things, either of those years makes sense. Before that, Thanksgiving was a thing that people celebrated, most especially in the New England area, uh, like not all of America, just the New England area. And also, every state would choose its own day of the year to celebrate it. But then in 1863, partly influenced by this lady I learned about named Sarah Josepha Hale, Lincoln said this year, all of America is going to celebrate Thanksgiving on the same day, which is, you know, the second to last Thursday of November, I think. Nope, I lied. In 1863 was the last Thursday of November. At least that's what the internet says. Now context, when we think of Lincoln, we, of course, we generally think of the Civil War. And where was the Civil War in 1863? Well, in the summer was Gettysburg. And Gettysburg is the turning point uh, where, where the North starts to feel like, hey, we're gonna make it and we're gonna get this country back together. Lincoln makes the proclamation that all the nation is gonna celebrate Thanksgiving together in October of 1863, so just after Gettysburg happened. And that's what's fascinating to me. Uh, Lincoln did not live in easy times. <laughs> he had a civil war on his hands. That's the context where he makes Thanksgiving a national annual thing. Actually, qualifier, he didn't quite make it a national annual thing at this point. Like he just said, this year we're all gonna celebrate it on the same day. Um, and then the next year in 1864 is when he said, hey, we're gonna do this every year now. It's gonna be a great time. But for me, that changes some of the nuances around uh, why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? Does it change nuances a lot? Probably not. Um, but significantly enough for me, I used to think about Thanksgiving in terms of, well, we have these pilgrims that found land and make peace with the natives. And now instead, as Lincoln talks about Thanksgiving, he talks a lot about how uh, we're a country that has gone through a lot, is going through a lot, and God has decided to give us another year of life. Praise God. This moment of Thanksgiving comes out of the context of one of the most bitter and heart-wrenching periods of American history. The Civil War was brutal. I mean, people still talk about the ramifications of the Civil War today. Um, that's the context. In 1864, when, when Lincoln talks further about Thanksgiving, uh, he gives some advice on how to celebrate it. And uh, his final bit of advice goes like this. He says, and I do farther recommend to my fellow citizens aforesaid that on that occasion, they do reverently humble themselves in the dust and from thence offer up penitent and fervent prayers and supplications to the great disposer, capitalized referring to God, of events, for a return of the inestimable blessings of peace, union, and harmony throughout the land. Lincoln doesn't talk about Thanksgiving from a place of pompous celebration. He talks about Thanksgiving from a place of dust. He talks also in gratitude about how our country is still alive uh, today uh, and about how we have our health. He talks about the growing workforce. He talks about new sources of wealth in his time. He talks about all these good things that happen. And in the same breath, he talks about how we have been saved from the enemy, which was from our own household. Civil War stuff, right? He talks about asking God for peace from the midst of war. That was Thanksgiving for Lincoln. That's phenomenal. It changes how I view Thanksgiving. Instead of just listing off, you know, I really like how uh, I have a heater. I mean, a heater is nice and I like my blanket and I like my stuffed animals. Uh, but Thanksgiving can also be a holiday that we celebrate from our sad places, from our misery, from our pain and our suffering. Thanksgiving can be a time when we turn to God and say, hey, parts of my life suck, but you've kept me going in the middle of all of that. Thank you, and 
keep me going still. I had a Thanksgiving break because I'm a student. <laughs> I'm spoiled. But the weeks leading up to break, a lot of my peers, we all empathize with each other. We <laughs> just need to hold on and make it to break and things... <sighs> and then I can breathe and it'll be nice. That tiredness, that's something that we can bring to the Thanksgiving table. Praise God, we all made it here. All right, I'm gonna cut myself short because I feel like I'm about to ramble. Uh, but that, uh, that's been my thoughts around Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. And I've kind of enjoyed that new perspective. Hopefully you enjoyed that perspective too. If not, I still hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, have a great time. I said prayers. God bless and ciao. So, you know, originally for my Thanksgiving video, I was going to make something more comical because I feel like I've been serious a lot lately. I was going to talk about how it's not time to celebrate Christmas yet. And I had a great illustration, like a story about why we shouldn't celebrate Christmas yet. It's not time for Christmas yet. The story I was going to use was about just, uh, just a couple days ago, I was putting out Christmas lights on the roof. You get onto the roof by going through the window of my room um, and I close the window behind me and the latch is on the inside. There's no way to get at the latch from the outside. I was locked out. And because my timing is impeccable, I was the only one at home at the time. Um, so I called my sister and uh, she eventually, you know, came home and saved me. But of course, before she let me inside, she wanted to take pictures of me on the roof because she's a wonderful little sister or something. I made a snap story out of it. Uh, so it all worked out fine, you know, whatever. Uh, there it is. But the moral is, Guys, it's not Christmas yet. It's not even Advent yet. You can't celebrate Christmas yet. Look what it does to people. I almost died in the cold. Could have been really sad. Do I actually expect us to convince anybody that likes to start celebrating Christmas in October to change their minds? No, I don't. Um, but my position is clear. That's worth something, right? I'm not sure. Maybe. Who knows? Ah, it's out there. Bye. Oh yes, also I'd like to give some brainstorming credit to my friend Haley. Uh, she helped me come up with the idea that I didn't end up using for my video, but I put in the post credits here. Um, that's worth something too, right? All right, bye again.